guys and girls, this is Popolomi, your gaming host for today, every single day, and every day I'm your gaming host, right? Alright, uh, on off camera I've already created the unknown for this upcoming gameplay we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and start. Welcome to the favor Lost Chapters for the PC version. I'm gonna use the keyboard because there's no controller compatibility. So without further ado, let's enjoy this game. Okay, shall we? Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. All right, welcome to the first Gameplay of Fable. Press tab to talk to people or interact with objects. People with interesting things to say are highlighted in green when you push them and appear as a green block on your map. Right. Press left mouse button to select an option in your inventory and right mouse button to go back to the previous menu. Pressing enter or escape at any time will turn you to the game either. Right? What's wrong with the graphics? Man? The graphics will not like this. Alright, sorry guys, I guess this is the resolution that I could not change if I change the game. So it's just shut down himself. So I have no problem. But anyway, let's continue the game. Let me hear some good reports about your behavior, and I'll give you some money for your sister's birthday present. What do you want, girl? I've lost Rosie! I left her and I can't remember where! Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her! Please help! She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. A blue patch on her back? <laughs> what? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? 
Yeah, right, man. You just met her and just did that flirting, right? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? No. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Go we'll get your ass working then. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Oh. What do you think? Will you take his bride and call me a bad thing? Beware, gossip travels very quickly, I feel. No. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Shut up. Hello lad, I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face, for only three gold pieces. I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sonny. Oh, Just three gold coins is all I ask, and your sister will love them. I'm sure you'll love the three gold coins too, right? Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Yeah, right. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got... Quickly, oh, no, no, give no, me no. three... Maybe later, but how... Remember... Oh, yeah, yeah. Many lovely things! <laughs> I hope you bought your sister something nice for her birthday. Honestly, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Alright. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! I'm coming. Yo! Filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your strumpet, you've got another thing coming! We were rehearsing a play. Yeah, that's all it was. Who is she anyway? Blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the Hello, mix. lad. Say happy birthday to your sister for me. Okay, okay. Hello. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. Right. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Why do you do it yourself? Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Well, says the person that doesn't do it themselves. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Sure. Okay. You're just gonna stand there like a lemon. Why do you but do yourself? Being good is so boring. I want to punch you, man. Would you prefer to be smashing things? Oh, shut up, man. Shut up. Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Shut the hell up, man. Alright, he's back. 
Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. Favour? I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. The voice acting in this game, man. You're gonna love it. I mean, no. But you gotta admit, man. It's kind of funny. Kind of. Stupid oh. little idiot. What do we have here? I want more pocket money next week. Well, what do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. <laughs> Get him off me! <laughs> Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Oh really? I look strong? <laughs> you will only be able to hit characters when they have a red highlight. To attack a non-hostile character, you must lock on to them by pressing space and then press left mouse button. Come here. What Bitch. are you doing? It hurt! Ow! Ow. Ow. Sure. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Oh, look at that kitty. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Oh, we got a teddy bear. You performed a good thing. Remember to talk to your father to achieve a reward. What? Remember the girl that want, wants a teddy bear back? Let's go give it to her. I'm a good thing, remember I talked to your father, which is for what? Okay. Alright, let's talk to our father. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Alright. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? I have enough money to buy a present for your sister. The golden symbol on your mat shows the location of the person, object or place you should go next. Your main objective will always be shown this way. I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Chocolate. What happens if you say no to the... Ah, oh, one day I want children of my own. Yeah, if you say no to the merchandise, basically nothing you can do. But to say yes and buy the sweet. Hello, little brother. Hello. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Alright. Before that, let me touch this funny little thing. Be careful you're planning your studio for the house though. You find nothing to stop. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! 
Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakville. And if you'd stay, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Mays. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, 
one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. All right. Now oh, come on. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Come on, man. You just kidnap a kid right here and then you just wanna ask him to do what the grounded rules ask this him to do. This is the guild shop. When you're older, you can buy stuff here. Yeah, okay. Looking to make a purchase? No, I don't have money. Imagine you got kidnapped to a random place like this and then you have to I wake like up this at... part of the guild. The cloisters are so quiet. Alright, ignoring her, let's continue what she said after you have to wake up every 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. Look at the look at the look at the weather man. It's obviously 5 a.m. And to do what they actually ask you to do. It's like they're taking your life away from you. I'm an afternoon person, you know, not a morning per type of person. Looking at bro. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. Over here, come on then. Let's see what you're capable of. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Press space to target the dummy. Use the movement keys to circle around the target. And press left mouse button to attack. To disengage the target lock, tap space again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. A stick? Press Q to equip the stick, then attack the dummy at SP4 using the left mouse button to strike. You want some? Come get some. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. You can pick up experience orbs by walking over them or press and hold left shift to drag them towards you. Like that. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Here the billows infested the guild woods. 